So obviously we are doing the interview because the dirt will be out in a couple of weeks. So how are you feeling at the moment about that? Oh, I think I can't wait. I wish I had it right now so I could watch it. Okay. It's, um, it's a, I, you know, I saw I saw a screening of it. And it was just it's really a cool, cool movie. So how are you feeling about that? Like in general, are you like relieved that it's finally coming out? Like after quite many years, actually. Many, many years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's great, you know. Um, I, it should have been a long time ago, but hey, you know, sometimes the, you have to wait for good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obvi- obviously the movie is about the book. So how important it was actually for you guys that the movie is like por- portrayed from the book like really closely so that it doesn't like actually whitewash or change anything from the book. Right. It's just like any other movie that's made on a book. You know, you you, you take all of the... You, you know, it's hard to put that much stuff, you know, 10 years of your life into a two-hour film so you got to pick and choose but there's a lot of stuff to pick and choose there's a lot of you know it was all based on ups and downs of each band member you know we all had our good times and we all had our bad times you know and it's uh so it it it, it, it makes the film you know we're just not you know we're just not the good guys in the whole thing so how heavily was the band actually involved with the whole filming process where you actually present at the like shootings a lot, or no? I, actually, because I, I was on tour, so uh, I didn't have a chance to get to New Orleans where the, they were filming it. But I did talk to um, the, the the guy that plays me, Daniel Weber. I talked to him many times on the phone and stuff, and you know he must have watched every bit of film that I was ever in because he plays me perfectly, which is just pretty crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was actually going to ask you about that. That how does it actually feel to see like somebody acting yourself on a movie? Well, I mean, I was just I was really pleasantly surprised, you know, because I uh, I didn't know if it was going to be, you know, this really low budget, you know, film because you can make really bad films very easily. But but after the first ten minutes of, of watching the movie. I was actually I, I forgot it was about us, and I just was enjoying a really good film. Okay, okay. So yeah, I was actually going to ask you that that were you actually like nervous that how will it end up like somebody acting like you because I guess it's always like pretty hard to be someone else, and you are always the best critic, I yeah. guess, because you're yourself the person who should belong to it basically. So yeah, it wasn't me that was. Nervous. It was actually the guy that played me who was nervous. <laughs> you know, he, he wanted to make sure he did a really good job, and he did. I mean, I think he, each guy that played each of the band members uh, pulled it off. I mean, exact. It's like you get everybody's personalities like right there on film. It was pretty neat to watch. So did Daniel actually ask you a lot, like tips that how would you like act in this kind of situation, and how would you react in that and Stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not a lot of stuff, but but like, you know, I, I can't remember the exact questions. Um, but yeah, but yeah, he'd ask me like, what what would you do in this instance, you know, or, or this instance, you know. So um, that helped him through it a little bit. But but by not being there, you know, he he still really had to kind of do it on his own. So you know, kudos to him because he he he. He put in the time, obviously, and uh, he did a great job. So obviously, you kind of like live the rock and roll lifestyle when you started the band, and you can obviously see that from the film. But like, world is pretty different from what it was like back in those days. So, do you actually feel that some other band, like starting new band, would ever have the chance to kind of live that rock and roll to the fullest like you did? things one it was the, it was the times were a lot different you know this this, this was the 80s you know it was, you know we formed in 1981 you know so we're almost 40 years in um but but i still think that the younger bands you know that is the first time that you have money the first time together first time traveling the world first time your first tour bus um you know you're gonna gotta go a little crazy you know and i think most bands 
um, you know, when they first start out and they have have uh, some fame and, and fortune, um, they're gonna they're gonna go do do that kind of stuff too. I I, I think you know I hear some stories, but you know for, for some reason back then everybody liked to really put Motley Crue under the microscope, and uh, it was just I think it was just because of the eighties, man. Yeah, but do you think that rock and roll is still as dangerous as as it was like? Back in the eighties, I don't even know where rock and roll is anymore. I, I, I'm still searching for it. It's, um, you know, I, I'm a, I haven't seen or heard anything new that that um, stands out to me right now. But you know, because I'm, I'm the kind of guy I get in my car and I listen to to classic metal, you know, Aerosmith and. Uh, Van Halen, and you know that I'm, I'm an old old school guy. But I, I I listen to the music that I grew up with. So obviously, you played your like last show with Motley on on New Year's Eve in 2015. But this movie kind of puts you in the, the spotlight again. So uh, how did it actually feel to basically meet up with the guys again and make music for this one? Well, we already recorded uh, four brand new songs. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's already done. Um, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna. Uh, you know, the movie's gonna come out. We're gonna enjoy it and doing interviews and stuff. You know, it's great to you know be out there again. You know, but I'm like me personally. You know, like I'm still on tour. You know, right now I still got like sixty or seventy shows left this this year to do. And um, so, you know, for me, it's it's it's. It's it's great to be with these guys, you know, for a while because we haven't we haven't seen each other in a long time. So did you felt the same kind of like creativity spark when you met up again and made actually music for this upcoming film? Uh, yeah, I mean it's just, it's great to see the guys again. You know, it's um, um, you know, it's just, but it's a, it's a, it's a, at brotherhood. You know, we've known each other for. Uh, Longer than we've ever known anybody in our lives, except for like our, our parents or, or or siblings, you know. And so in that way, we are brothers, and we uh, will always be connected. So I think it was like really nice move to actually cover Madonna's like virgin to the film. So whose idea yeah. was that? I don't know whose idea it was. I, I was, it was just presented to me. You know, saying, well, what about doing a, you know, what would you think about doing, like, a virgin? And I'm, like, <laughs> thinking to myself, I, I don't know. You know. I don't know how that would sound. But it, it turned out pretty cool. <laughs> And I think it's it's kind of, you can take it also, like, as a humorous way, like, how the film goes and how the song is. So it's kind of, like, double-edged sword, in a sense. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, how do you actually see like the band's future af- after putting this movie out? Do you actually see yourself making like motley m- new music, for example, in the future, or playing some show, or or do you feel that this is kind of like it? No, I mean that's the thing. You know, but people just because we you know, stopped touring doesn't mean we broke up. We just decided not to tour anymore. We still do things as a band. You know, we're still going to put out music. We're still going to put out merchandise. We're still going to do things as Motley Crue. You know, except for tour. That's that's really it. So do you do you feel that the, like after now a couple of years of like getting out from the road as Motley, do you still feel that the decision was right? That you don't like regret it? That you basically ended it too early now because you also have the movie out. Motley Crue thing, you know, and it kind of really has nothing to do with touring, you know. It's 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 a movie. It's just you know, like in another who knows, another four or five years, maybe we'll put something else out. You know, I I don't I don't know, but um, you know, we're just just gonna have to kind of wait and see. You know, we're just because I mean I'm busy touring right now. I know the other guys have different projects too, and and. Uh, You know, see if we can fit in people's schedules, whatever else comes up. So hey, Vince, thank you a lot for your time about this, and 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 all, all the best for the movie premiere and and for the movie and also for the future yourself. Uh, 
anything you want to say to the, all the Motley Crew fans who will be watching the movie when it drops on March 22nd on Netflix? Yeah, I'd say uh, enjoy the movie. It's uh, the rule. The movie is is definitely sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I mean, it's yeah. really all three of those. Yeah, it so, is. I can I can underline that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, thank you a lot, Vince, and and all the best for the future. Thanks, man. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.